by Odin's Fade, I do believe. That's the start of a podcast. It's a great time for comic books. We got a new hero in Thor Miles Morales and the hot new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Lotus is coming out. That's a fan film. Everybody excited. I didn't hear about that second one. Oh, you didn't? That's the one where the lead actor and the and the director after making what is apparently a pretty good Spider-Man movie with Indiegogo dollars got outed as being massive white power racists. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, all I didn't sorts of DMs leaking out of them, calling, uh, dropping the N bomb, and calling people dog eater and all sorts of shit. Wow. <laughs> I did. Ah! I did not. I did not see that. That's crazy. Um, but the new Miles Morales run is good, right? Yeah. Well, uh, the run is one thing. The what if is certainly another. But. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, to be perfectly honest, I, I, uh, I've I been clicking on to the internet and looking a little bit, peeking here and there, just enough to keep a, a docket going, but I have yeah, not yeah. I have not been around. I have not been around, oh. so... It's you know. a slow week. Don't worry about it. Okay, well... By the way, um, for those of you who only caught certain bits of last week's breaking news, I would like to confirm that it, the Bungie Juneteenth kerfuffle was indeed caused by a hilariously unfortunate technical error. Yes. I thought we got that to that someone, by the end of the story. Yeah, I know, but you know how it you know how clips circulate and whatnot. Yeah. Well, yeah. That being said, somebody still hit publish on that shit, so whatever. <laughs> it's 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 a it's it's a journey, but by the end of the journey, I think we get to the point where we we see uh. that it's it's just hilariously unfortunate indeed um the uh yeah i mean there's what is there's nothing like it's one of the like i these bits there's always the one where you're like there's almost nothing to say about it by the time you get to it because everything that oh, you yeah. need to yeah, say no. has already been yeah, done but really if you're listening and you don't know what's going on i guess you can just go look on twitter and see some of the choice clips of the what if miles morales was thor uh, comic in which you know the short version of it is essentially that like if w like what if Miles Morales picked up Thor's hammer and then as soon as he did all of Asgard around him just turned into the hood <laughs> like a line almost like a reboot scan of just the environment and the, just, and the and the hammer just is getting scanned down and now there's all graffiti on it there's tags on it and it's, and like it just yeah it just updates and then all of a sudden, Asgard becomes the hood. And then everything in the narration boxes is told through rhyme. Um, it's good times. It really is. It's, it's, oh, I love it. It's absolutely, oh, it's the most in touch it's ever been. You know, it's right up there with... Um, it does it. That, it, it, it. Go ahead. Uh, it's like the timing on it's so perfect because last week you were like, I don't want that covert shit. I want that overt shit. But this doesn't even seem malicious. It just seems like fucking cringe. Yeah, that's that's exactly <laughs> it. There's nothing really fancy to say or or it's just it's it's massively ooh. Ooh, you thought you nailed it and the spirit was there, but you and you thought you were going to get one of those clips where the person who wrote it like they thought that like everyone was going to react like one of those like gifs that everyone going, "Oh shit." You know? And you just yeah get have people invite him to the barbecue like the cookout oh, oh, the you, cookout yeah I really yeah sorry the cookout but like oh you did a oh you know oh man yeah and and you know um yeah like I said it's 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 right up there with uh that the that old white lady teaching you how to hip hop dance from everything is terrible you ever see that lady where you just you put a little <sighs> step into it and now that's real hip hop know. right yeah, there actually I'm not. Because everything is terrible. It's a really wide, oh yeah, wide brush. You know, I got like, you know, my friends tell me like, what are you gonna do when this whole hip hop thing fades? And you know, I just say to them, well, hip hop is a mentality. It's a state of mind. So you don't have to worry about that. Now put your back into it. Here we go. One, two, a little bit. It's all about the attitude. It's all about the walk. You know, <laughs> and she gets really into it. And that uh, sounds fun. 
It's a good time. It's a good time. And then she reveals the abs, the abs to see where you see the, you know, the, the thug life tattoo right across. And then you're like, oh, shit. Oh, that's good. She's about yeah. that life, though. <laughs> so I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Hey, take money. Watch out now. Come on hey, now. Hey. When you Whoa. when you say, um, <laughs> God, when you say everything is terrible, the one that pops into my head every time is just Yoga Farm. Okay. Uh, the the absolute nightmare that is Yoga Farm, and like do the crow move, and that guy's just bent over with his arms back, just screaming <sighs> at the top of his fucking legs. And I that's don't... the one with the Rasta crow. Oh, I don't think I remember that one. There's there's so many though. Oh, dude. It yeah. was a movement. People aren't going to know about everything is terrible in just yeah. a few years. Oh, I mean, it it was an era. For me specifically, it was the time when uh, YouTube was blocked at work. So uh, you would go to everything is terrible for the direct video uploads of just wild shit. It was want. a good good browsing. I don't know how, you know, when, when, I, when, when, when we're older and we're explaining to the kids... I don't know how to exp I genuinely don't know how to explain that I spent maybe a hundred thousand hours of my life looking for vapid garbage. Yep. And like I I wanted it as vapid and as trashy as I could get it. Oh yeah. As direct as possible, for sure. There's there's a lot that's going to be hard to explain. I, this week, for the second time now, I realize there's a there's a, a real problem. Um, and uh, Punch Mom is fucking taking me to task over it. But oh. if I am seated and mm -hmm. I cough, my hand yeah. reaches out to press a mute button. Oh. Like, if I'm in the couch seat where I'm usually sitting and nothing's happening and there's no mic in front of me... I call, I start, I feel a cough, and then I reach out, and I press a mute button that's nearby, or in some cases, just like there's a bit of a what? Oh fuck! And it's just it's instinctual so, at this point. So it's not. So I I have been freed of my version of that, but I will gain it shortly. So back at the old place on the couch where the camera was set up, the camera was set up about to my right and a little bit up on top of a secondary monitor, right? So I would be talking to Paige, whether I'd be in the kitchen or, or on the couch next to me, and I'd be telling a story or something, and I would periodically turn to make eye contact with where the camera would be mm. if it had been set up mm. in normal thing. Mm -hmm. But that happened in other rooms. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I would be talking to some so if people watching the video, I'd be like, oh yeah, so then I went to the store, right? So I went to the store. But there'd be nothing. There's nothing there'd there. There'd be nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and that's she, no good. She'd be going like, Pat, who the fuck are you looking at? You're, you're, you're there's no one here. I'm like, I don't I don't know. It's bad. I don't know. I, it's bad. Um <laughs> And I mean like the first time it happened, I didn't even realize anything was off. Like I just I reached over and clicked the button and then kept watching the movie. And then she was like, did you just mute yourself <laughs> for nothing? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Maybe yeah. I did. Yeah. Maybe I did. Fucking. All right. Um, that's, 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 that's the, that's the, the fucking PTSD that I'm going to get. Right. From that's this... not that bad. Yeah. It's going to, yeah. it's going to like when, when the internet is gone and we're all scavenging for food in the, in, in the, in the post apocalypse, and you're still doing it, and people don't understand what a TV is, like, then it's going to be, like, troubling. The phantom mute button. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Just well, there used to it. be a device you could hit, and people wouldn't be able to hear you, and they're like, isn't that called closing your mouth? And you're like, um, yeah, I guess. Um, all anyway, right. pure, pure unfiltered internet. Um, yeah, hey, shout-outs, shout-outs to, to... I need more. You know, I, I mean, to, 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 to the what if Miles Morales and the timing of all that. So let me write that down now. You said Spider-Man Lotus? Spider-Man Lo Lotus. Okay, I'm just going to make a little note on that. Um, Apparently the movie's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Good to know. 